how it goes i'm feeling really ambitious here but why not <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't look wrong i park it to the side and focus on other things and come back to it with fresh eyes and I today we're going to try something completely different we're going to create a twist not style design on a garment and um, we're going to start now So hello, I'm Juliette Uzo of SoSoNatural.com and I'm back here again with something slightly similar to a few videos ago. If you cast your mind back to the video where we hacked the chestnut pattern by Coco Rawa, you'll remember that um, we had a twist knot at the back of the top, but today we're going to try something different. We're going to experiment doing the exact same concept. We're going to use the same pattern, but you are welcome to use whichever pattern you're comfortable with. We're going to use this fabric, which is um, a jersey fabric, so remnants from a project that I did in the past. Um, I really like mustard. It's a mustard fabric. It's stretchy, very stretchy. So it's got four way stretch this way and that way, which is really interesting. Okay, <laughs> moments of truth. I've cut it out, I've just pinned it together. Um, <laughs> okay, let's try it. After this twisting and knotting, it's pulled this down a little bit so I feel like I should have slashed it a little bit just a little bit here there to open it up a bit to make the neckline a bit like make it to open up the neckline but I'll live with it it's fine so this is what it's looking like um, I don't know how to feel at the moment because it's not complete yet. What this tells me now is when I cut the back, I need to make the back slightly bigger. I need to make the back slightly bigger so it doesn't like stretch a lot. So it just sits nicely. I also need to remember that I added half an inch seam allowance to the neckline here because I'm going to fold this over twice. I'm going to turn it in twice. 
twice or maybe overlock and then turn it in once but yeah that's what it's looking like so far turn it in first I'm gonna turn it in first So first thing, overlock and then turn it in. Okay, so now that I have um, completed the neckline, I'm going to twist it the first time and then second time. So I'll have this looking that way. And now that I've done that, I can see that the, the raw edges aren't really showing anymore. Please sew into the tight corner don't sew away from it sew into it so i'm pinning it in such a way that my sewing would go all the way from the bottom into this tight corner it's just a headache trying to sew out of a tight corner guys so make sure you're careful about that so what we're doing now is pit we're pinning up this side here the center front we'll pin it in take it to the machine And I'm sewing as close as possible. I'm trying to get as close as possible to the knot as far as my machine would go. And here we have it. So later on, I'm going to take it to the to the to the ironing board, and I will iron it. I'll press it down, give it a nice press. I feel like something else that I should have not done. I sh maybe I should not have cut across it like this because I've lost a bit of ah that's where the issue came from okay so what I've done what I did was I drew a straight line this way I feel like I should have extended this a little bit extend it out more and then um, join it together I feel that's where the issue came from but then bearing in mind this is a pattern for a this pattern is supposed to be for a, a or jersey fabric it's not meant for woven we'll figure it out it's an experiment at the end of the day so let me make all the mistakes and you learn from it <laughs> all right again I took a few days off from this project because um, it was testing my patience and what I tend to do when I get to this point in any project is I park it to the side and focus on other things and come back to it with fresh eyes and I do recommend that to anyone who finds themselves it doesn't matter what kind of a um, creative process you're into if something starts to frustrate you it's best to put it away to the side and come back to it later on and you'd get a fresh pr perspective to it so that's what I did with this um, this top so now I have gone ahead to um, cut out the back of it the back of the of the chestnut pattern and um, I cut out or I also cut out um, you know obviously the sleeves and I'm, I went for a long sleeve option but then I thought to add some bands to it 
so I um, used the same fabric so it's the same um, you know using the same fabric but I kind of um, shortened the size of the the band to make it slightly snug on the wrist so it's not going to be as snug as but you know I quite like it like this it's not <laughs> I actually really like it Um, I enjoy I, I quite like the, the look of it um, on the inside uh, so before okay before I um, overlocked it I used my sewing machine just to um, stitch it together because I s sometimes struggle with getting the, the right seam allowance with my um, overlocker so I first of all sew it on the sewing machine using a straight stitch and then I take it to the, sew to the overlocker and overlock it obviously the ov overlocker secures everything nice and um, neatly so um, that's the reason why I sew my sewing machine first some people are great you know going straight into the go straight to the overlocker because they can you know judge the the seam allowances but I just struggle with the overlocker so it's just a personal preference the neckline you know the v-neck and the back neckline I just turned it over and stitched it I did a twin I did a twin needle stitch on it so um, to give it just to give it a nice finish um, do not forget to overlock the neckline of your fabric if the fabric does fray a lot my one doesn't fray and there's a big debate it's not a big debate but there is you know some people are of the, of the opinion that it's best to um, overlock every every like raw edge on a jersey fabric but it, it's all dependent on in my opinion I think it depends on the type of fabric you're working with would I do this project again hell yes I will I will do this project again I will I, so I've tried it at the back now I've tried it in front now I have um, I am going to the next challenge would be to incorporate it in the middle I'm going to try that and see how it goes I really 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 want to try it with um, Ankara fabric with you know woven fabric but I really do think that I really do think that it won't work because wax fabric well never say never Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to um, follow me on Instagram. I'm quite active on Instagram. But enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are and I hope to see you very soon. All the best. Bye! <laughs>